Hi, I'm Timmy from Mini Bowl Design, and today I want to talk about ultralight backpacking and equipment. Uh, I'm not going to do a deep discussion about all the ins and outs of it, but I would like to voice my opinion on the whole thing and, and how I think some things work and don't work. Now, from my point of view, to most of my customers who are what we call weekend warriors or deck packers, not people that go out for a long term, you know, they go out for a weekend, overnight, a couple days. Uh, there's a couple of things that, that about backpacking that makes it very glamorous. Uh, there's really something magical about being away from civilization, out where there is no safety net, and having everything you need in a pack on your back to uh, be comfortable and survive correctly. Uh, out in the wilderness. It's it's almost like being an astronaut with a air pack on your back in a spacesuit. I mean, it's just, it's kind of magical because you're out away from everybody and about away from society and all the safety nets that come with it. You're on your own and you have the intelligence to build a pack that weighs maybe as little as five pounds that has everything you need in it to be comfortable, stay warm, stay safe, sleep, the works, feed yourself, cook your meals. That's kind of magical. That's, that's, that's kind of cool. It's not something just anybody can do. Now taking it down to a little more specific, uh, the backpacking stove. Now to have a backpacking stove that is under an ounce, hold right in the palm of your hand, Something that in the evening, if you're in your sleeping bag and you're not a tree dweller, if you're a ground dweller, you wake up in the middle of the night, you can take that little tiny stove and you can heat water for coffee or, or boil water or cook yourself a meal, make soup, make oatmeal, do anything you want to with just this little stove the size of a, less smaller than a spool of sewing thread that <coughs> weighs under an ounce. That's the neat factor, and that's why people like the alcohol stove. It's just the neat factor, something that small that puts out that much heat, is that easy to use, and fits into that small space. Uh, it's just, it's got the super wow cool factor. And that's what alcohol stoves have. You know, compared to a canister stove or a gas stove, they just, the cool factor is huge. So when I design a stove, I always take that into account. How much of a cool factor have we got here? And if I add a feature, will that increase the cool factor or will it decrease it? And I always go from the maximum cool. <laughs> My mind kind of works like a, like a kid's anyway. I, I tend to see th things from a very young person's perspective. Uh, and, and that's what I take into account when I'm, when I'm building products to sell. And, and I like to think that's one of the reasons why I've been fairly successful at it. So I'm Timmy from Mini Bowl Design. Get out and hike. Take a friend. Enjoy the great outdoors. More important than anything, try to be nice, leave no trace, and have a really great day. Bye-bye.